Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about general equation, general transistor equation, guys. So let us go first through active region. I think this I covered almost in three to four tutorials, guys. So basically, active region is nothing but for input side we'll be giving forward bias and for output side we'll be giving reverse bias. So let the input of the emitter and the output be collector. Yeah, we know that emitter base collector, right? So emitter is our input. Excuse me, collector is our output. Okay, so basically the generalized equation is this guys, this is, this is done in a lengthy process, I have just skipped that because that's not so important according to me, so I just skipped that. So if you want, you can learn it guys. Okay, so basically IC is equals to minus alpha IE plus 1 minus EVC by VT, where VC is, if VC is negative, VC is the very large compare, large compare to VT. Okay, so that's a small condition, so that e power 0 is not the e power that that's get cancelled and we're gonna get we can remove this whole term out of that so that we're gonna get ic is equals to al minus alpha ie plus ic b naught okay guys okay further moving on relation between ib ic and ib naught so here we need to include what we need to include guys ib is not there ic is there ib in ib naught is there so we have a formula that IE is equals to minus of IC plus IB. I hope everyone knows that. So basically I will be just substituting it. So that I will be substituting in the place of IE. So that I got like this now. So here I can, I will be shifting this this side. And I will be taking IC common. So I got this now. So that is equals to this. So now I will be dividing this on that side with alpha IB. So alpha by 1 minus alpha. Okay, we got this equation. So basically I will be assuming this whole part as beta. So IC is equals to beta IB plus 1 plus beta IC B naught. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea. So if you want to write the relation between <coughs> IC, IB and IC E naught. So basically we know beta is equals to, now beta is equals to IC by IB guys. Okay, so you remember that alpha is for common base guys. Right? Beta is for common emitter okay and gamma is for common collector okay these will be the large signal gain of common base large signal gain of co sorry a common base common emitter large signal gain of common collector so basically for common base it is nothing but base will be common so emitter will be input and collector will be the output so emitter like this, it's going to be the formula and for this it is IC by IB as emitter is common. So for gamma, I'll be just rechecking and saying you guys so that I'll not say you anything wrong. Because if I say you, it's going to mess us only. Okay, just give me a second, I'll be just going through it and I'll be saying you in just give me two minutes or one minute guys, that's it. So we are going through common emitter is right here. Okay, I'll just skip the diagram. Okay, that's fine. I'll be just drawing it for you. So the basic diagram is emitter base collector. So I'll be taking the collector common. Okay, if I take the collector common, what will be our input guys? So if we take collector common input will be base. So in the denominator we'll be having base common collector. Okay, B by E. So emitter will be our output and base will be our input. So IE by IB. Okay. So this will be our formula for that. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this guys. So we'll be discussing them in detail guys. Don't worry. We'll be having some tutorials on that. Also don't worry. So basically beta is equals to IC by IB. I think this is wrong. Okay, just give me a second. Yeah, that's wrong guys. Okay, I'll be just rechecking it and I'll be saying it to you guys. So basically let us assume that beta is nothing but one my alpha by one minus alpha. So it's right here. Okay, that's fine. So further moving on from one and two. Okay, by comparing we can just get this equation guys. Okay, I hope everyone can do that. So in the next tutorial we'll be going through some configurations of transistors guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.